Hi friends, this is Rashekar, a GET faculty for electrical machines. Today, in this video, we are going to explain about Delta Delta connection. We are going to discuss about Delta Delta connection. First of all, we have to know the phase tons ratio and line tons ratio. Phase tons ratio and line tons ratio. Generally, we know that E2 upon E1 is exactly equals to N2 upon N1. Yes or no? And at balanced condition, N1 I1 is equals to N2 I2. But I want phase tons ratio. Phase tons ratio. Phase tons ratio is nothing but N1 upon N2. Number of tons per phase for primary, number of tons per phase for secondary. Phase tons ratio. So N1 by N2 is equals to, N1 by N2 is equals to, I2 by I1, N1 by N2 is equals to I2 by I1, N1 by N2 is equals to E1 by E2, E1 by E2, for example, that is equals to X. Phase tons ratio is equals to X. This is a phase tons ratio. Transformation ratio is different. Phase tons ratio is different. From this, E1 upon E2 is equals to X. So E2 is equals to E2 is equals to E1 upon X. E2 is equals to E1 upon X. This is the phase tons ratio formulas. Just remember that. For delta delta phase tons ratio, for delta delta phase tons ratio. For delta delta phase tons ratio. How? What is the phase voltage of primary? The phase voltage of primary is equals to line voltage. Is equals to line voltage. And the phase voltage of secondary, even phase voltage of secondary is equals to line voltage because in delta phase voltage is equals to line voltage. Phase voltage is equals to line voltage. So E2 is equals to E1 upon X. E2 is equals to E1 upon X. Or what is the phase voltage of the secondary? The phase voltage of the secondary is equals to line voltage. Then these two gets cancelled. Then the phase terms ratio is X is to 1. The phase tons ratio is x is to 1. Actually, this phase tons ratio is common for all the configurations. No need to worry about this. This phase tons ratio is common for all the configuration because E2 is equal to E1 by x. We have to take phase voltage of primary, phase voltage of secondary. Phase voltage of primary E1 and phase voltage of secondary E1 upon X, E1 upon X, E1, E1 gets cancelled. So always the phase tons ratio is X is to 1 for all the configuration. This is constant. Phase tons ratio is constant. It won't change us. Once transformer manufactured, the phase tons ratio is constant. But line tons ratio is changes for every configuration. For different different connections, the line tons ratios are changes, but the phase tons ratio is constant for all the configurations. All the connections, the phase tons ratio is constant. Are you okay? Are you okay? Right. Next one. What is the line tons ratio for our delta delta connection? What is the line tons ratio for our delta delta connection? 
let's see line turns ratio here line turns ratio line turns ratio for delta delta is equals to okay what is the line voltage for primary line voltage for primary is equals to phase voltage line voltage for primary is equals to phase voltage and what is the line voltage for secondary again the line voltage for secondary is equals to phase voltage with the turns ratio x again the phase voltage phase voltage cancelled out and this ratio also x is to 1 the line turns ratio line voltage of the primary and line voltage of the secondary both are same that's why cancelled out and the line turns ratio also x is to 1 therefore therefore for delta delta connection for delta delta connection line turns ratio and phase turns ratio both are same line turns ratio and phase turns ratio both are same both are same both are same for delta delta connection line and phase turns ratios both are same there is no any changes there is no any changes are you okay for example if they given if they given n1 is to n2 is equals to 3 is to 1 then what it is in the question they given like this they didn't mention is this is the phase turns ratio or line turns ratio then what is this this is ultimately phase turns ratio only what is the given what is the given in the problem that is 100 percent phase turns ratio only phase turns ratio only for example if they given if they given 132 kv by 220 kv 132 kv by 220 kv what is the meaning of this this is the line voltage ratio or line turns ratio if they given like this if they given like this this is the line turns ratio this is the line turns ratio nothing but this is the line voltage of the primary and this is the line voltage of the secondary line voltage of the primary and the line voltage of the secondary if they given like this this is the x is to 1 like that number of turns in the primary and number of turns in the secondary number of turns in the primary number of turns in the secondary respectively and if they given like this this is the line voltage of the primary and this is the line voltage of the secondary this is line turns ratio if they given like this this is the phase turns ratio this is a just a introduction about line turns ratio and phase turns ratio and remember this for delta delta the line turns ratio as well as phase turns ratio both are same line turns ratio and phase turns ratios both are same here both are same here we are going to discuss about delta delta connection diagrams delta delta connections let's see here these are the primary three phases primary three phases okay and uh, these are the secondary three phases these are the secondary three phases primary three phases and secondary three phases and according to bis standards bureau of indian standards the primary winding parameters denotes with capital letters and secondary winding parameters denotes with the small letters nothing but this is a1 and a2 b1 and b2 c1 and c2 
and this is a1 and a2 b1 and b2 c1 and c2 this is given by the bis standards and according to bis standards in generally the dark notations at to this second terminals if they are not mentioned in the question we have to take the dark notations at this second terminal dark notations at this second terminal this is the three phases of primary and secondary now this should be a delta this should be a delta delta nothing but every phase is interconnected like this every two phases are interconnected like this so let's see here what i am doing here here this a1 is connected to b2 and b1 is connected to c2 and this c1 is connected to a2 this c1 is connected to a2 see this is a delta connection and here also same here also same this a1 is connected to b2 this b1 is connected to c2 and this c1 is connected to a2 this c1 is connected to a2 this is delta delta connection diagram right now now let's see now let's see here for example this is delta in this delta between a2 to b2 from a2 to b2 parameter a is there i from b2 to c2 i from b2 to c2 vector b is there i from c2 to a2 c2 to a2 the parameter c is there as usually here also from a2 to b2 a is there from b2 to c2 b is there from c2 to a2 c is there right so let's draw the vector diagram for this see arbitrary delta and arbitrary delta for both see here from a2 to b2 from a2 to b2 from a2 to b2 a uh, actor a is there next from b2 to c2 from b2 to c2 vector b is there vector b is there i from c2 to a2 from c2 to a2 vector c is there a2 to b2 a is there b2 to c2 b is there c2 to a2 c is there and uh, represent a star in this represent a star in this this is a and this is b and this is c a b c as usually draw the arbitrary delta for this and here both are in same connection diagram both are in same connection that's why this secondary vector also in parallel to the primary vectors if both are same connections then the secondary vectors also in parallel to the primary vectors primary vectors let's see here a is like this here also a should be like this i here b is like this here also b should be like this and here c is like this and here also c should be like this but here this is a small a and and this is a small c and this is a small b here small a is connected in between a2 to b2 small b is connected in between 
B2 to C2 and small c is connected between C2 to A2 and again represents the star here again represents the star here this is A and this is B and this is C and superimpose these two on a clock superimpose these two on a clock let's take the clock let's take the clock for example this is my clock here 12 o'clock and here 6 o'clock here according to BIS standards according to BIS standards the primary vector is represents with the minutes hand and secondary vector is represents with the hours hand see here the primary vector the capital A the primary vector the capital A is here this is a minute sign capital A is minute sign and the secondary vector and the secondary vector this is our secondary vector small a also here only this is a hours hand this is a hours hand see here both hours hand minutes hand at the same place at 12 o'clock nothing but this vector this vector coincide each other so this is represents with the primary is the delta primary represents with capital letters secondary also delta secondary also delta secondary represents with small letters primary is the delta secondary is the delta and here the time is 12 o'clock this represents that this represents that the phase shift between them is zero degrees this represents that the phase shift between primary and secondary is zero degree this is the delta delta connection diagram this is the delta delta connection diagram in some textbooks they also given you dd0 it represents zero degrees like this also so actually this is 12 o'clock primary is the delta secondary is the delta and 12 o'clock represents the zero degrees displacement this is simply the delta delta connection diagram in that one configuration is zero degrees if we saw the next configuration for delta delta if we saw the next configuration for delta delta i am removing this next configuration for delta delta right so let's see here let's see here next configuration for delta delta next configuration for delta delta let's see here i'm just modifying i'm just modifying let's see here let's see here i'm just modifying this delta i'm just modifying the secondary delta again same i'm doing the same let's see here up to now i connected this this a1 to the b1 right a1 to the b2 right now see here i'm just modifying this a2 to the this a2 to the this a2 to the b1 and this b2 to the c1 and this c2 to the a1 okay and just interchange these connections in secondary let's see here from here the vector a is connected in between vector a is connected in between a1 to b1 and vector b is connected in between vector b is connected in between b1 to c1 and vector c is connected in between vector c is connected in between c1 to a1 c1 to a1 but here the connection is in reverse manner the connection is in reverse manner in opposite manner in subtractive manner 
that's why these vectors are exactly 180 degrees to the primary vectors these vectors are exactly 180 degrees to the primary vectors because here see here we are connecting in reverse manner not like this this is in reverse manner if these both are in opposite manner then the vectors are opposite to each other 180 degrees to each other so let's see here vector a is like this but here the vector a should be exactly in opposite direction exactly in opposite direction this is my small a and here vector b is like this vector b is like this but here exactly opposite direction see this is my small b and here vector c is like this but here exactly opposite direction like this this is my small c because both are in subtractive manner now again represents the star again represents the star in this delta also in this delta also now tell me now tell me the a is connected in between a is connected in between a1 and b1 and b is connected in between b1 and c1 and c is connected in between c1 and a1 c is connected in between c1 and a1 nothing but this is a and this is b and this is c a b c now again superimpose again superimpose these two these two stars in the clack see here again i capital a nothing but minus sign i said you primary represents with minus sign minus sign in the same direction but my our sign see this one a is my our sign in downwards my our sign in downwards this is a small a this is a small a now tell me sir what is the time here what is the time here my primary is the delta and my secondary is also a delta primary is the delta and secondary is also a delta 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 but here the time is time is six o'clock right so here the angle between primary and the secondary is 180 degrees 6 o'clock nothing but the angle between minute sign and hour sign is 180 degrees same as the primary and secondary windings are displaced by 180 degrees phase difference this is about the delta delta connection two configurations one for zero degrees and another for 180 degrees now you have a doubt what is that sir so just you changed the connection of secondary but if you change the connection of primary again now this is in reverse manner i said you in subtractive manner if you change the connection of primary also if you change the connection of primary also then it is a additive manner right for that additive manner how we can draw the vectors for additive manner the vector should be in same direction okay same direction then what is the phase angle if it is in additive manner then again the phase angle is zero if it is in additive manner then again the phase angle is zero sir if you change the connection diagram of primary and don't change the connection diagram of secondary secondary is same as usually before the first one and change the the connection diagram of this primary then what happens sir then that is subtractive manner right in subtractive manner the phase angle is 180 degrees again actually we have a four possibilities i done two possibilities with the same delta with the two one like this and one like this i done these two manners 
one is the additive manner and one is the subtractive manner. I changed the connection diagram of the secondary only. If you change the connection diagram of primary, again you have a two configurations. But in this configuration, I have 180 degrees and 0 degrees. Again, in these two configurations also, you got 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Finally, in delta-delta connection, the phase difference is either 0 degrees or 180 degrees. Either 0 degrees or 180 degrees. That's it. This is about the delta-delta connection diagram. And I given you the phase tense ratio and line tense ratios of delta-delta also. Are you okay? Right? Thank you, sir.